Before I get into this video, I would like to give a shout out to the guys over at Madden Daily. They actually posted a video about this kind of going over in their gameplay. The tips they use to stop the run and a lot of what I'm referencing is going to be information from them. So if you guys want to go check out their channel, the link is in the description. Again, big shout out to them and let's get into this video. No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking for cheap and instant Madden Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoinbank.com and use promo code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. So I've been watching a lot of Madden 18 gameplay from all the game changers of people who got flown out to play the game early. And the one thing I've really been noticing, and a lot of people have been saying the same thing, is that defense this year looks dumbed down a lot. Offense seems to be super dominant, and a lot of the things that you could rely on in the pass on defense is not there. Specifically, the run game. If you watch a lot of these gameplays, there are huge holes, and the running backs just seem to break off these huge runs all the time. Juking and spin moves are back, so just running the ball is a beast this year. And so with a strong run game comes a strong pass game because if you're always trying to stop the run and watch for the runs, then your zones are gonna open up and there are gonna be open spots in your defense to pass the ball. The best offenses are always a mixture of pass and run. So if you have a strong run game, that definitely sets you up to win the game. Now in past Maddens, there have been a lot of criticism because there are all these types of nano blitzes and three man rushes where you can lock up the run and pass and get super good pressure all at the same time. Now the thing I really wanna point out is dollar formation in Madden 17. For those of you that don't know, Dollar was one of the biggest defenses that people use. I actually made a video on it for Madden 17, and it was mainly used as a pass defense, but it could also lock up the run. So this year with Madden 18, they really changed it up to now you have to match personnel if you want to stop the run. So I'm in practice mode right now for Madden 17, and for those of you who don't know what personnel is or what I'm talking about, it's the type of players your opponent has on the field. So for instance, when you're playing a game and your opponent picks their play, in the bottom right it will show one tight end, three receivers, one running back. That is your offense's personnel. Now in the past matches, it didn't really matter if they came out in goal line formation or a spread look. You could come out in like dollar or quarters and still be able to stop the run effectively. So if you guys are experienced football or Madden players, I would say skip this part because I'm just gonna be going over what basic personnel means on defense. So when you go into your playbook, this is what it will look like most of the time. You got 3-4, 4-3, 4-4, nickel, big dime, quarter, and then a lot of playbooks have this thing called dollar. So I'm gonna tell you how to read this personal right here. Three, four, that means you have three down linemen and four linebackers. If you look at right here, you have the three down linemen in the middle right here, and then um, the linebackers, Malcolm Smith, and the other one is Bruce Irvin, if I can go over to him. Bruce Irvin, and Bruce Irvin is playing like a D lineman in this set, so that way you have four D linemen essentially, one of them being an outside linebacker, Bruce Irvin, three linebackers and four defensive backs, meaning your cornerbacks on the outside and your safeties over the top. So the secret to stopping the run this year is going to be matching the offense's personnel. So in years past, even if your opponent came out in goal line, like I said, you could come out in quarters and be fine and still stop the run. This year, what they're doing is the offense is gonna have a huge advantage when blocking players if you don't match their personnel. So for instance, if they come out in goal line and have three tight ends on the field and a fullback along with a running back, and you're out in quarters with only three linemen, one linebacker, and seven DBs, when they run the ball, the game is gonna automatically give them a huge advantage and their player is gonna hold the blocks a lot more. So if you don't come out in the right personnel against your opponent, you're not gonna be able to get off the blocks and they're gonna have these huge open lanes to run through and probably get a touchdown. Now I like this because I think it adds a bit more realism to the game because no NFL team is gonna come out in quarters when the opponent has three tight ends on the field. So essentially for every tight end or fullback on the field, you're gonna want at least a linebacker on them. So that means this year you're gonna be in three, four sets, which again, like I said, three linemen, four linebackers, 4-3, which is 4-D linemen, 3 linebackers, or 4-4, four, four, which is 4-D linemen and 4 linebackers. Now keep in mind though, when you're in these sets such as 3-4, 4-3, four, four, and 4-4, four, four, you're only going to have 4 DBs or 3 DBs on the field, so your coverage is not going to be as strong in the pass game. But when your opponent does come out in 3 receiver sets or even 4 receiver sets, that's when the nickel and dime comes out. So if we take a look at nickel, the reasons it's called nickel is because you see 25 right here, DJ Hayden, that is the slot corner, also known as a nickel corner. So this nickel cornerback is going to come onto the field when there's a third receiver on the field. That way, again, it's matching personnel. If they're in a spread look with four receivers, that is when dime comes in handy. Now, dime and quarter are mostly gonna be used when they're in a spread formation with four receivers 
or it's a pass situation where it's maybe third and 15, third and 20, something like that, and you know they're gonna be passing the ball. So that's when it's gonna be safe for you guys to come into these heavier coverage personnel such as dime and quarter and even dollar. So I'm gonna go over this one more time. Nickel is gonna have three corners and two safeties. Dime is gonna have four corners and two safeties. Quarter is gonna have five corners and two safeties with only three down linemen and one linebacker. This year though, mainly I'm thinking three, four, four, three, and four, four, and even four, six, if you guys don't know what that is, 4-6 is another heavy personnel. They're gonna be used a lot more frequently on first and second down because you're gonna know you need to match your opponent's personnel on the field. I hope that wasn't too confusing for anybody. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll be trying to answer all the ones I can. But that is gonna be the secret to stopping the run game this year is matching your offense's personnel. If people are running jumbo and stuff like that like they did in Madden 17, you're gonna need to stay in these heavy personnel on defense in order to stop the run. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Now